Looking back at the high-level design, we can see that the service layer is where the business logic should be. So I'm going to delegate the filtering logic to the service layer. For that, I'm going to create a comment service class, and this should have the functionality to filter the list of comments to find only the ones which has the given post ID, and then it should return all of the comments which belong to that particular post. Now the commit controller class will call a method on the comment service to get the filtered comments, and of course passing the post ID as a parameter. So now I'm going to create a new test for the service class. It should be in the com.comment.service package and the name comment service test. So just as with the comment controller test, I'm going to assert that the comment service class would return a list of comments for a given post ID. So this comment service object should be of type comment service. And now I'm going to create this class. It should be placed under the src main java source folder. And the package is correct com.comment.service. And click finish. So use the comment service class. And now creating the method. Now I can run this test. So we're getting a null pointer exception because we're returning null here. So what I'm going to do now is return a list of comments here, just so we get the green light. So I've run the test again and now it passes. So now that I have this method implemented in the comment service class, I want to make sure the comment controller delegates the business logic to the comment service class. So for that, we will have to add a dependency of the comment service inside of here. So I'll import the comment service and create getters and setters for this one. So before doing any more changes inside the comment controller, I want to make sure that I haven't broken any tests in the comment controller test. So I'll run these tests again. All four tests are still passing. So what I'm going to do now is make sure this dependency gets injected into the into this object while it, it is created. So I'm going to create the comment service field here. So I'm not going to pass in the real object. Instead, I'm going to use Mockito. And Mockito will create a mock object of this class and inject it into the comment controller. So to do that, I'm going to add the add mock annotation on top of this comment service, which I want to be a mock. And then this is our class under test. So on top of that, I want to add inject mocks annotation. So now I'm not going to create it inside here. So instead of initializing it myself, I'm going to tell Mokito to initialize the variable with all the dependencies. So this is how you do it, Mokito annotations dot init mocks and 
this you pass in this which is uh, the object of this comment controller test so when you add this line this this object will be created with all the box injected into it and now i want to run these tests again to see what has been broken so as you can see three tests are failing due to a null pointer exception if you look at the cause um this comments object is null we're not using this constructor anymore and we're not passing in this list of comments to this one so i'm going to remove these two and use the comment service to retrieve the list of comments so get comments by post id and of course we need to pass in the post id so if i run this test again let's see how many of them are passing so now we've got two tests passing and two are failing due to the session errors so first one is expected is four but was zero so let's look at this test return all of the comments that belong to the same post so i'm passing in post id 1 and i'm expecting a list of four comments and then the other one this test checks whether this method returns a list of comments and expected false but was true the list that the comment service returns is empty so in here what i would do is tell this mock to return this list whenever this method is called so this is how I do it when so I need to add the imports so then return this list so I'll make this a field And I'll run this test again. So now that one is passing and so now I want to fix this one which is returns all of the comments that belong to the same post. So actually now this logic does not belong in the comment controller and so i don't want this test inside the comment controller test so i'm going to move it into the comment service test so i'll just add it in here and i'll work on that later and i'll run all of these again so now i want to make sure that this method is called from inside of the comment controller so for that um, i'm going to write another test and i'm just gonna call this method under test and then use mockito verify To verify that the mock method has been mock has been called so we pass in the mock and times so i want this to be called just once i want this method to be called with the same parameter so i'm going to extract this And again, I'll run all the tests. So now all of them are passing. So now I can move on to the comment service test. So we moved this test from comment controller test to comment service test because the comment controller is not doing any processing of the data anymore. It's just delegating to the comment service. So I'm going to incorporate this test into the comment service test. But before moving on, I would like to look back at the basic design of this application once again. 